Reader, I didn't want to tell this story. For a long time I clung to the idea of my wondrous escape, my quantum leap, in the hope of living calmly and collectively in a world of fiction. A world of my own making, one I could enter and leave at will. As far back as my memory reaches, I have had a love of stories and a yearning for the telling of them with a hunger that went far beyond the normal every day and with a special eye, ear and nose for tragedy. Pawing and chafing like a horse, inquisitive, eager. At last something was happening, at last things were being clarified. Bible stories, myths, sagas, gruesome fairy tales, they prodded my heart and prickled my senses. Look there. A hand pierced by nails, a child with a splinter of ice in his heart, a city destroyed for its transgressions. How hideous, how grave, how real. I knew no greater desire than one day to be allowed to add something to this great edifice of human experience. But who can predict what will free itself from the darkness one day to chase us like a frightened dog?